recently made good news around the world because just months ago, Kendra and Malia were conjoined twins. Then surgeons attempted something they say has never been done before, separating conjoined twins who share only one kidney. And how are you doing? I'm good. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Tough Topic. My name is Brittany. I hope everyone is enjoying their weekend. So this will be part four of our fascinating stories and I'm gonna be discussing another set of conjoined twins. And if you missed the last story, just check out my playlist of fascinating stories. So back in 2007, the Heron twins, Kendra and Malia, were introduced to the world when they appeared on the Oprah show. The twins were born conjoined in 2002 and went through a very risky surgery to have them separated in 2006 when they were just four years old. They were the first set of twins to be separated that shared a kidney. So the twins were like any average child. They just wanted to eat, play, and be happy. After the separation, they had to go through, of course, weeks of physical therapy and unlike the set of conjoined twins, Brittany and Abby, that I discussed on my previous video, Kendra and Malia were only joined at the abdomen and pelvis, but they would each have only one leg when separated. The separation was risky for Malia because she would need a kidney, but like any mom would do, their mom donated a kidney to Malia and unfortunately, in 2015, Malia's body started to reject the kidney. But in 2018, she received another kidney transplant and has so far, it's been successful. So what exactly has these twins been up to in the recent years? So the girls are actually now 21 years old. Malia is a photographer and she actually does a great job, by the way. She works and goes to college. Kendra also works and goes to college as well. Kendra, she actually has a car and drives, which is so awesome to me because it goes to show that not all people with a disability is exempt from driving. But the big question everyone has asked is, are they dating? Well, that answer is pretty easy because if it comes their way, they are not against it, they said. Love does not discriminate. These are some beautiful young ladies and they did explain in one of their vlogs that they are right now just focusing on school and work, but if it happens, it happens. So I find this story so fascinating because it just inspires people with disabilities that they can do whatever they want to do. And as you see, they're living life. They, you know, obviously love makeup, clothes. I mean, there's just like any other human being. So let me know how you feel about this story in the comment section below. And do you remember them when they came on the Oprah show or am I just that old? But um, I appreciate you listening and watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Please like and subscribe. Bye for now.